Hello, friend. Uh, coming to the entomology at a glance syllabus discussion on chapter five, where we will discuss the syllabus about host plant resistance. So here you need to study the each and every topic of host plant resistance. It is very important in current context. So uh, coming to the what are the topic you need to study is in under host plant resistant is first is a chemical ecology, macno and chemoreceptor. So you need to understand what is chemical ecology. Chemical ecology means interaction of organism uh, in response to chemical. Okay, so that you need to study then what all are receptors are there, macno receptor and chemo receptor um, that, that you need to study which, re, which respond to the chemical. Then host plant selection by phytophagous insect. So host plant selection involves five stages. So every step you need to remember in a sequential manner. It involves host habitat finding, host finding, host recognition, host acceptance and host suitability. Coming to the another topic, next topic is secondary plant substance and their defense against phytophagous insect. The plant defense chemical perform allochemical function. So secondary plant defense chemical involves allomones and chiromones. What then what is the allomone and chiromone that you need to study? Allo means the provide adaptive advantage to the plant by acting as insect repellent, suppressant, deterrent, and toxic. Whereas a chiromone, chiromone, these are a plant function as a attractant, feeding, or oviposition stimulant. Okay. Then coming to <coughs> In the host plant resistant and basis for resistance. What is the host plant resistance? So you need to understand what is exactly the host plant resistance. Here is a definition given by Maxwell. Those heritable characteristics possessed by the plant which influence the ultimate degree of damage done by the insect. So what is the basis of resistance or mechanism of resistance that you need to study and the advantage and limitation of host plant resistance, characteristics of host plant resistance that all you need to study. So mechanism of resistance uh, includes the antigenosis, antibiosis and tolerance. Antigenosis, it is also called as a non-preference. So it is a plant characteristic that lead insect away from the particular host that may be the morphology morphological non-preference due to the morphological characteristics of the plant or chemical characteristics of the plant so that you need to study then antibiosis antibiotics biosis a plant characteristics where it causes direct or indirect effect on the biology or behavior of the insect then coming to the tolerance tolerance it refers to the um, plant characteristics where it withstand the damage of damage caused by the insect. Coming to the another topic that is biotype. Uh, here uh, you can see uh, the, these are the example I have given. So you 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 need to remember all of this. It it used to ask sometime in interview and your uh, example as objective question in your net exam or JRF or SRF. So coming to the next your uh, topic, biotype development and its remedial measure. So here you need to write the what is biotype, okay? So biotype is a new population capable of damaging and surviving on plant previously resistant to the population of same species. So it is a development of a new population of uh, insects, new population of insect which is capable of damaging to the uh, plant species which are earlier known to the resistant. Then what are its remedial measure? So how we can protect that you need to study some of them are sequential release, gene pyramiding, horizontal resistance, so that you need to study. Coming to the next topic that is tritrophic interaction. Tritrophic interaction deal with the interaction between plant, insect and natural enemy. Then coming next topic is induced resistance. Induced resistance deal with the, it is not a, a heritable characteristics or not a innate characteristics of the plant. It is induced by external factor. Like sometimes we used to apply the potassium fertilizer. It provide resistance to the um, plant uh, against disease and pest. 
and then coming to the breeding of insect resistance so this topic in this topic there is a method this is a traditional breeding method in which plant breeder they used to identify the resistant trait and they transfer those resistant trait to the uh, new cultivar by uh, by breeding approach then coming to the resistant development and evaluation technique so what all are kind of resistant development and evaluation technique is there so one is breeding method then another is your biotechnological method molecular breeding approach all different kind of method involved which lead to development of resistant cultivar then what all are evaluation technique there is no choice multiple choice those all are the technique then genetics of resistance so uh, this is a type of resistance which involves the gene so gene uh, means vertical resistant here is a different type vertical resistant horizontal resistant oligogenic resistant polygenic resistance so name itself it defines this is the resistant of cultivar due to few genes he, this is the resistance of cultivar due to many genes. Okay, so uh, coming to the biotechnological approach and development of transgenic insect plant resistant, its advantage and limitation. So here you need to completely study about the biotechnological approach of the development of the transgenic plant. So uh, you need to remember like what all are uh, techniques are involved in biotechnological approach that is a recombinant DNA technique method is there and what all are steps are involved that you need to study and then what its advantage and limitation and what all our crop has been accepted by government of India in Indian condition then case history um, like BT cotton in our India we have introduced in 2002 so uh, the this ha this has suppressed the ballworm complex then re resistant development BT resistant development that you need to study in cases then insect resistant to transgenic plant and its management you might have uh, studied that now pink ball worm has got resistant to transgenic plant BT cotton in spite of growing the BT cotton also it able to damage um, on the uh, transgenic plant so how we can manage uh, those um, uh, 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 those kind of resistant in insect uh, which got resistant to the transgenic plant so these uh, you need to study in that the, you can do the gene pyramiding gene sequencing which we we need to follow for the previous method so all this you need to study in this chapter <laughs>